In this demonstration video, we're going to look at some of the features of click to phone when you are using the expert user level. First, we will run the setup wizard and select expert mode. Project settings, setup wizard. We will choose the expert user level. Then we can choose the different options that we want to appear in the click to phone homepage. We will choose the style to be a grid. And for this demonstration, we will change the theme from black and white to wallpaper and finish. The app will restart with the new options. And when I press my switch, it will scan the items on the click to phone homepage. When I scan down to the home screen option, it will bring me to the home screen of my device. And we can see at the top of the screen, we have a grid of icons that we can choose from to manipulate a mouse crosshairs. So in this instance, I am going to start the music player. And I will start a song. I'll choose this album first. And I will play that track. Okay, I'll return to the home page of the device. I have an option to switch into a kind of a keyboard mode. In this option, I can use arrows to move around the icons on the desktop rather than manipulating the mouse pointer. Often that is a quicker way of selecting an item than moving a mouse pointer. To go back to mouse pointer mode, you choose the mouse icon. There is also a swipes menu. So if I wish to perform a swipe on the home screen, I will position the crosshairs and go into the swipe menu. Okay, and there's a couple of other functions there, most notably being able to choose from the recent app list. So I will relaunch the settings application. The refresh symbol will always bring us back to the click to phone application. You can also add your favorite applications to the click to phone homepage, such as WhatsApp, Spotify, and so on. We're just going to add a simple games app. You choose insert an app and then the application you wish to include. When I press my switch and choose that application, then it launches the application, but it also launches the crosshairs mode so that you can control it. So it's a quick way of being able to launch your favorite applications and control them in mouse pointer mode.
There are also some applications that you can insert into the click to phone homepage that have been optimized for use with switches, namely some book reading applications. We can insert a book reading application by going to insert new item and then we choose Amazon Kindle from the list of options that can be included in the click to phone homepage. When we choose the Amazon Kindle icon, it launches the application and enters a special scanning mode that has been customized for book readers. When I press the switch once, it advances the page. I press it once again, it advances the page. If I want to go back a page, I press the switch twice to get the left hand arrow and then it goes back a page. Twice for the left hand arrow and then it goes back a page. Once to go forward a page, twice to go back a page. If I wish to return to the click to phone application, I press three times. One, two, three. So that shows you some of the more advanced features of the click to phone application. Thank you very much for watching.